there everyone I'm Denise Love and today I'm gonna bring you along on some experimenting that I was doing in my art room I'm doing some intuitive painting with some new materials and making some surprising discoveries and I can't wait to show you what those are so let's get started okay guys I'm in the mood to paint and I am gonna start with I'm gonna do some intuitive painting and I'm gonna start with the intention of cutting this up and every time I start with specific intentions to cut up art I end up having a great paint day because I'm not worried about where I'm putting things I'm not trying to be real specific about where composition is and color I am just having fun slapping paint down and finding something amazing out of that mess when we're done and I'm starting out I've got a Jackson sampler pack of paper here and I, I've actually I bought these as a kind of a photo background to spread different papers down and stuff on top of it um, and I decided oh, what a waste not to try out these papers so now I'm using these papers and I'm using out of this sampler pack Saunders Waterford 140 pound cold press watercolor paper um, this is a cotton paper I believe which I love the cotton papers cotton papers are nice because um, the water doesn't immediately soak in and it gives you a little bit more working time with your art medium on top of it whereas with the student grade papers that are made with like wood pulp and cellulose those tend to just soak right in that paper and they work different which is a really good lesson in using the paper that's the good paper um, that you plan on doing good final art pieces on because if you're working on student paper and then you're like okay I got it let me make an amazing piece and you pull out the good paper you don't know how it's going to react to all your materials and then you end up very disappointed when you ruined something or didn't do what you wanted because um, you'd never practiced on it um, so I'm going to be using um, and this is a quarter sheet um, of a big sheet of watercolor paper the 33 inch by 22 inch this is one fourth of that sheet and I've just taped this down with some artist tape on to I've had a lot of people asking me what is this board that I tape stuff down to um, and the board is an ampersand hardwood artist panel and these come in lots of different sizes and I absolutely love them and some people may use these to paint on I don't know if you actually do a piece of art on that or not I use these as portable panels to do art pieces on and then when I'm done I can or you know if I'm waiting for it to dry and I want to work on something else I can just move this off my desk that's why I love these you could use cardboard you could go to the hardware store and go to the lumber section to the hardwood board hard uh, hardboard panels back there and you could have like a two by two foot by four foot piece cut down in to different sizes I mean so there's lots of options there but I like these because they're thin they're about an eighth inch or so thick and they're portable and I can work on multiple things and then move them out of the way I'm gonna do something different here I am going to use some of these distress oxide sprays if I'm doing a really nice piece of art I don't tend to use things that I consider crafty um, but these were so much fun in that grungy piece um, that we did um, with the the dark grayish blue color and the black so you can go see that video um, if they look interesting but I really liked the way that these reacted to water and so I'm just gonna go for it and I pulled two colors that I'm like I'm gonna do this it's like a pink and a green um, and just see what we get it might be crazy so I shook these up already and I'm gonna spritz these down not even worried about where they're going and then add some water to it and then I think we're gonna let those dry so that they do their little oxidizing stuff and this is a little bit like a spray paint we're spraying it out there and so if you don't want paint on everything cover and wear an apron cover things that you need protected and then I got a little spray bottle here and I am just going to spray these down and you know some of these things I don't know if this is the exact way that you work with this paint I'm not worried about that so much as I am playing with it in a way that I want to play with it and then I do have some paint brushes over here and I thought you know we could spread this oh you know what I'm thinking oh ha, 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 go with me here fan brush fan brush okay so I was just saying I've got some paint brushes here we can move stuff around but oh look what this is doing as I'm not even like touching it and I like this right here 
but we could take like a stiff this is the like the, the bristle one and do some little mark making or dragging and just see you know what does that do oh look at that oh <laughs> that's kind of fun up there all right so we're gonna have to so these these should change colors and do some fun stuff as they're drying so i'm kind of looking forward to that and then my plan is to paint on top of this with um some acrylic paints and so what we end up in the end it's not necessarily going to be um this pink and this green the way that we see it but you never know you know i might get to painting and some other idea may inspire me I, I like look at that i don't know what that's doing but when that dries i can't wait to see what we've got and maybe i'll put some extra little water drops as it's going and see if we can get some definite color changes because that worked on the other one that i did um the speckles that oxidized really cool as the air dried these things so i don't know what we're going to get but let's let this dry and then we'll keep on going this is dried now and look at this you saw me put the two colors on here and then as it dried i actually went and did one extra little spritz on top of the green let's see what is this anyway this is crushed olive and candied apple so I went and just did an extra little spritz on top as it was drying it looks like somebody just threw the rainbow at my paper because <laughs> there's so many more colors where these kind of separated and blended like we have yellow over here we didn't use any yellow we have some yummy orange where that yellow and red kind of mixed um, so that green really separates out into um, green and yellow so what I thought I would do is pull out just some different acrylic paint colors that kind of mesh with the colors that are in here this one's kind of a little surprise color because it's very close but a little brighter but I was kind of thinking of the different colors which ones would kind of maybe blend or pop and so I'm going to do maybe some stencils on here. So I've just pulled some of my favorite stencils. Um, this is that Tim Holtz Halftone Circle one. This is the Stencil Girl um, S921, those little squares. I think this is a Crafter's Workshop one. Um, little flowers everywhere, but I'm not positive and I'm not seeing where they write that on the stencil. But I'm pretty sure it's Crafter's Workshop. Lots of little flowers there. And I'm just going to start some layering. Because I like it. And just see what we get. Um, so I've got a little pad of uh, disposable paper over here. Way too much paint there. <laughs> this one is Primary Red. And again, I'm just, I'm just going with the flow. I'm not worrying about where these things set down. Okay, I actually want this maybe in something other than the red. Now that I'm thinking, maybe the flowers in the red. Here we go. Um, but I, I'm just, what feels good? I'm just going with the flow here. I don't, I'm not trying to get something specific. I'm not trying to cover the whole stencil. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was perfect. All right, let's just come over here with some of this over here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and when we're all done, I may be covering these up. You never know. The thing with the with the abstract that's so pretty to me is the layers. And sometimes when you're like, oh, I don't know if I like this. I don't know if it's done. Look at it and think, did I put enough layers? Okay, so I like that one. <laughs> that was fun. So maybe I want to do the squares in this. Ooh, maybe it's pink. Let's try. I know this pink's not in there, but we're putting this pink in there. And we'll try one spot, and if we don't like it, we don't have to do any more. Oh my goodness. This is light pink. Liquitex Basics. I got a whole big, um, I'm just going to use the same sponge. I got a whole big set of these little sampler sizes. And then when you're done with one of the colors, like you've emptied it out, let's just put some of this in here. Um, then you'll know, hey, I like that color. Let me go get a big one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, super fun, super fun. So go looking at stencils and see if any of them grab your attention. And you can, of course, do this with your own art tools. You don't have to use stencils, but I have just become obsessed with stencils recently. And you guys chat back and forth with me and you're so interactive and fun on YouTube that I'm just obsessed. And I'm, this kind of speeds up the creation process on some of this for me and makes fun art okay you know what i'm thinking here thinking thinking half tone circle what if i don't know oh oh i'm a little scared of that color <laughs> but i want to pull out maybe this whatever this green is and i'm not feeling that i have found it um, in my paints let's just do a little and if we don't like it we don't have to do any more of it how about that I know you thought I was going to say gold. Oh, oh, what a fun surprise. And I'll tell you a secret. When I pulled it up, I actually was thinking gold. <laughs> but then I looked over and I saw the green and I thought brilliant yellow green. We need you in here. Let's just get off of what we always do. Oh, super fun and do something different because I know you guys want to watch me experiment so that then you can go back to your art table and experiment too. That's why I do these things. I like to test out new stuff and oh yeah, see that green is super fun and just see, you know, what do we get? What do we get if I do this? Oh, I totally like threw you off there, didn't I? I knew you knew it was gold. We were thinking gold. <laughs> Okay, I'm loving this. Now in my mind, I'm almost thinking, what did I not use? I did not use this reddish orange. So what we could do, okay, so let's, let's get the sponge. Let's get that sponge. Hello, let's get that, um, let's get one of these back out. Ooh, 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 yeah, let's get one of these back out. So fan brush and put some orange on that and maybe just see, you know, mark making and in my mind I'm almost thinking that I want to cover a lot of this with white so it kind of shines through like an abstract with bits kind of coming through I don't know I know that that surprised you when I just said that okay let's just got a few orange bits Arr. Okay, so I'm kind of feeling like I wanted all this to just kind of shine through like something white. I mean, are you feeling that? I need you to vote with me. I mean, it might be totally ruining it. Like maybe I should try that on one little section. And if it doesn't work out, we still have the rest of it. <laughs> I'm going to get out my bowl scraper. This is um, a kitchen uh, silicone bowl scraper but it's nice and big and I can drag stuff through it and I'm kind of thinking what if I just okay be brave here be brave what if I just put some paint down oh that was really brave <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I was gonna just smear it but now I'm like hmm <laughs> Oh, oh no, I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, be brave. Oh. oh, yes, yeah, totally. I just went for it, didn't I? Okay, here's what we can do. Watch this. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking, okay, we just did all that. Got some stuff kind of shining through. Let's come over here. And I know I just scared you with me. <laughs> but before this is dry... We could come back through and scrape some of this off. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> All right, that was totally <laughs> kind of what I was thinking in my mind. And at the same time, how scary was that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I just did that. So now, now I'm thinking 
Do we need some marks, some Posca pen, something fun? What do we need <laughs> now that we just scared the lights off ourselves there? Oh my goodness. Cannot even believe I just did that. Here's a Posca pen. Let's do some Posca pen. Let's, oh, let's just, woo. <laughs> And you can Posca pen at the end too, but what if you went ahead and added some layers in? You know what I got? I got some other Posca pens in here in these yummy colors now that I think about it. Um. <laughs> Sometimes if you start off the piece of art thinking I'm going to cut this up and we're just going to get whatever it is that we get, you get a little braver with some of these decisions. And in my mind, I wanted the white. <gasps> Look at that. This white is totally turning green. I did not expect that. Did you expect that? I did not expect that. So these oxidizing colors kind of are changing the white. It's like reactivating them. How interesting is that? I totally did not expect that. I'm actually thinking, huh, now kind of makes you wonder is if in between these layers, and I'm not going to do this, but I'm just thinking out loud, if I'd sprayed this with a fixative, like a, um, like a work workable fixative, if I'd sprayed that with a fixative, then the stuff that we put on top would not have changed colors. That's very interesting. And I'm glad I did that because of that. So we can either continue adding on top of this with some yummy things like oil pastels, which you know I I love all of a sudden. Um, or I'm digging in my drawer here to look at the pastels as I'm talking. I love having this cabinet beside me and I redid it. If you watch my studio tour, I've redone it since then because I figured all the stuff I want to grab I need to have in a drawer right beside me. And so kind of thinking oil pastels on top of here when we're when we've got this kind of cut up into some stuff oh, oh we could go ahead <laughs> we could go ahead and add some gold on top of this too and that might be uh, a determining factor for us in what we end up loving or not loving but we could do the gold we can do the gold last um, it might be a final touch that we like um, but like some of these oil pastels might be a nice final touch too. So, kind of thinking we need to cut this up. My viewfinders, and let's, let's just do some cutting up because we can then tweak this after we've cut these into stuff. So these are just pre-cut pieces of mat. I like doing that. I like cutting out my own watercolor paper. Um, this is a five by seven. This is a three and a half inch by five inch. Um, but I'm kind of thinking, like, what if we did that right there? I'm kind of feeling that right there. So I'm going to peel the tape and decide where to cut this up. That white truly did not do what I thought it was going to do as it's reacting with this paint. That's exactly why you play with stuff like this, because now I know going forward that some of the reactive paints continue to react. Like, look, that just keeps continuing to turn like pink. So at this point, I could definitely spray this with fixative before we did anything else. Um, if that reactiveness um, bugged me. But I don't know. I'm kind of digging it. Let's see what we got. Because I almost feel like, look at these stripes here. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, look at that right there. Oh, oh, oh. I'm kind of feeling that. So, all right. So, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to just commit to this one. I like, composition-wise, how we're actually broke into thirds. I like how this is dark with no color on top of it. But I like what that white is kind of doing in there. So, let me just take a pencil. And we're just going to commit to this. And my paints are not completely dry, but I'm just going for it anyway. Okay, so I love that. Kind of thinking this here. Because I love what all of this is doing, and I love what this is doing. But hang on, let me just, let me just think here. Ooh, what about that right there? Kind of feeling where it's going right here. Ho, 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 ho. All right, let's 
Oh good, and that one kind of lines up with the other one almost that we've lined out, so that can be the line of this one. <gasps> Look at that. Well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, that's not going to work out. And again, every time I surprise myself and had fun painting it while we did it. I'm not looking for perfection. I'm not trying to create that masterpiece. I'm doing these to learn new things, test out compositions, test out different art materials that I like and see how they react and be surprised when they don't do what I thought they were going to do. Because um, I actually did have that specifically in my mind for that white to be white, not to be um, shedding color like that because of what was under it. But look how amazing these two are. Ho oh, ho! Oh, oh amazing and I actually kind of like this bit right here um, you know so we could continue looking at these and cutting things into <gasps> look at that one right there oh yeah see now this one I would like cut this one up and add some extra marks on top oh yeah see I like that and then this could be a big piece of collage paper or something else, or I could continue layering on top. But for the moment, I'm not feeling too excited about the leftover, so I'm going to set that to the side. And then this right here, I'm thinking on this one that I want some extra something. So I feel like I want the extra gold. So let me pull that palette paper back over here and just see because can't you use gold on everything <laughs> you can use gold paint i'm using my gold mica paste which sometimes you can find and sometimes you can't depending on how many people watch these videos and go buy all the paint <laughs> i'm gonna keep on with these circles because i like them this little half tone circle thing Dry sponge, don't go in here with a wet sponge. I've just thrown the other sponge in some water so I can wash it out. These little artist sponges are the best. <gasps> oh, yeah, 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 that's what I wanted. Let's do a little line of this right over here. Uh, oh, look at that. <laughs> some pretty gold shining in there. Perfect. This kind of makes me think that on one of these other stencils that I love, okay, I haven't forgot oil pastels yet hang on but I was kind of thinking on these other stencils Ooh, what if we did this one in the gold um, this one is a stencil girl stencil s376 Shaw says a Shaw on it so I'm thinking that's the artist name on this one um, what if we have some little gold in here we're just gonna bling bling these up enough gold down because I might do that over here too there's still some wet paint on this one so I'm trying to trying to be careful there but oh let's see what we got let's see let's see oh yeah that's exactly what I wanted I want to come down further though so let me let me kind of semi line that up Ooh, that was a lot of paint on my stencil look that's exactly what i wanted look at that it's just like oh just a little bit on the side there check that out okay now i kind of want a little of that over here um not in the center just kind of kind of going off like it's finishing off over there oh that's exactly what i wanted <gasps> oh see i love that look at that extra extra love it oh I love that okay so now I want to do something fun on this one that's even more different than what I've already done so what do we want to do what about this wild and crazy looks like stones this one is the crafters workshop 357s I wish they put the name TCW357s I wish they put the name on these because I get it you're trying to find them too and you're like, I can't find that. And I'm like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I 
I do try to link these under the video for you though, so check the links under the video. If I've got something I could find, I will link it for you. Oh, <gasps> this is totally the one. Wait till you see this. I could just see a little glimpse of it and I just knew. <laughs> Look at that, right down the center of that. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like that little shine. Oh yeah, so I'm almost feeling like, what if we did this at, say, the corners a tiny bit? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And just kind of pull that in like that. Oh yeah, when that dries, that's gonna be so pretty. All right, I'm loving those. Okay, I'm feeling good about the stencil work. Put the stencils back down there and then I could look is there any extra doodling any extra mark making dots any extra thing that we need um, kind of feeling like on this one I could do some Posca dots oh super fun okay so hope you had a good time painting with me today totally didn't end up where I in my mind thought but it kind of did but kind of didn't it was very interesting to see the reactive bits I do still kind of want to do oh this Sennelier oil pastel I kind of wanted some of it too this is number 28 it's like a it's like that yummy lipstick color um, but what if you know we had just a pop of that say coming through Tell not all my paint is red, but I do like that extra little touch that we just got out of that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. <laughs> because I didn't do these lines over here, it kind of implied those lines. How do you like that? Oh, super fun. Super fun. Just be brave. Experiment. Hope you had fun painting with me today. This was a fun collection that totally was not what I thought I was going to end up with when I had the initial idea in my mind, but totally loving it, loving it. Okay, so if you love painting with me, definitely hit that subscribe button. You can share stuff with me. I've got a Facebook group uh, for the art peeps that I've linked below the video, or you can tag me on Instagram at Two Little Owls Art. And I can't wait to see what you're creating. All right, I'll see you next time. Thank you.